up. Lock the door. Hannah, what's with the cloak and dagger? McLeish. Hannah, I already told you, you gotta let this thing go, all right? Unless you have some proof. I have it. I need you to stay, and I need you to listen. All right, so what you're telling me is that room 105 was a hidden office. Yes, inside the Capitol, recently renovated. All right, and that's important because... Because I went to interview the men who renovated it. This is George Sullivan. And what did he say? Nothing. He had a heart attack a month ago. He's dead. All right, look, with all due respect to Mr. Sullivan, I got a thousand people dead from this bombing, okay? So why should I care about a, a construction work with high cholesterol? All right, point taken. Ask me about Ken Gibson. Well, why don't you tell me about Mr. Gibson? Car accident two weeks ago. Oh, he's dead, too. Single person that worked on room 105 is dead. What the hell were they renovating? That was my question exactly. So I asked Hector to recreate 105 from the debris using the architectural drawings, and this is what he came back with. Looks funny, right? That's because it's not supposed to be there. These are reinforced steel, but the beams are coated in highly durable elastopolymer. And that does what? It improves air blast resistance, rendering it virtually indestructible. Are you, are you saying that... Yeah. They built a bomb shelter inside the U.S. Capitol. McLeish's survival was planned. This is not theory anymore, Jason. This is not a figment of my imagination. During the State of the Union address, the Capitol blew up and everyone died. Everyone except one man. This is. That there was a plan to make sure that only one person survived. Him. Congressman Peter McLeish. Jason. He's in on it. You haven't said a word. What the hell do you want me to say? That you believe me. Of course I believe you. I didn't want to, but yeah, I do. Who else have you told? No one. Why? What are you thinking? These people, whoever they are, they killed almost every senior member of the federal government and tied up any loose ends before we even knew there were any. So we need to find out the how and the why. Yes, we do, but we don't know who to trust, so you cannot say anything to anybody. Do you understand me? No one.